Um, and then I don't know if there's anything significant that happens other than that before they dive back when in. When you, yeah, when you go for the for the remains of the roadkill of the. Oh yes. They found out, yeah, they found out that it wasn't the machine's fault. It was actually because Johnny didn't remember that exact memory. And yeah, and there comes this really important scene um, involving Neil and. Yep. A bottle of painkillers. That's you... really easy. It's really easy to miss, but you didn't. Thankfully. I didn't. I found it. I saw. I noticed that he tossed yeah. something out. So I was like, "What was that thing?" Which is the painkillers. Yeah. Uh huh. So... I was so afraid. I was so afraid that you would miss it. Like, I remember, like when when you told me when we were talking and you told me that you were playing it. It was like, oh my gosh, you 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 got to that part. <laughs> Please tell yes. me you did. <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> So it was neat, because oh, even if I didn't find the painkillers, they would still have the ending with with, um, with Neil, Neil taking the painkillers. Yeah. So I guess the only I'm... thing is you wouldn't miss that explanation. You would not, you'd be like, what's that? I don't, I don't get it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and the way they, the way they dismiss the scene, it, like if you don't pick the painkiller, the next scene plays out differently. And the way they, they, they dismiss it, it's like, it feels completely natural because the way uh, the things Neil says, like, hey, I just gotta go do this thing. Uh, I gotta go take care. He actually says, I gotta go take care of my virtual pet. You know, I'm mm -hmm. feeling a bit retro. And he mm -hmm. just goes away. Mm -hmm. he, he goes away. And then Eva just walks into the house and it's like nothing happens. Like, that's mm -hmm. Neil. That's just Neil. There's nothing that's wrong with Neil. that. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. yeah. But if you pick the painkillers, you get the scene and there's gotcha. actually something that's wrong with cool. it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So I think the implication is either Neil is addicted to the painkillers or something is actually wrong with Neil physically and he's going to die. Is Yeah, there's a thing. There's a thing uh, that someone I actually was reading the comments on your videos. There's someone someone pointed something someone pointed something out is that when, and I always realize that when you when you play as Neil, when you choose Neil to go around the house and you get to the fight scene with the squirrel. His health is lower. His know. health is lower. And I always thought, like I always noticed that. And I always thought that it was because he was the one who was driving the car when they crashed. Oh, so I thought, that's true. I thought, yeah, I thought that that was the reason why his health bar was lower than Eva's. But now that you mention it, that something might be wrong with him. Maybe there's something else behind the fact that his health is lower. And I think somebody also commented their prediction for future games because it's, they're going to be making more to the yep. moon games that apparently involved Sigmund Core and or at least Sigmund Core, poss Eva and I'm sure Eva and, and um, Neil will be in the next one because um, yep. the next story, which I haven't played yet, I probably will play it just before episode two, um, the bird story. Because of supposedly the main character, yeah, supposedly the the main character of a bird story is supposed to be the next patient, is what yeah. I was told, and yeah. so so I, that might be the next patient that Neil and Eva they, were talking he's, about. He's going to be. No, yeah. I don't know if the, the specific one they were talking about, but he's going to yeah. be their next patient for the yeah. game. Which then begs the question: If they make an episode three, is episode three going to be Neil on his deathbed because of? you know, the painkillers, and now Eva has to be the one to dive in and personally go through his memories, go through Watts' memories. I would love to see that. Oh, wow. That would be so cool because, yeah. again, there's so much potential for Neil's character to be even deeper. Like, I've already said that he's not a one-dimensional character, but I would love if Neil ended up having to die and he's on his deathbed. I really think it would be amazing. They, there's so much they can do with him as they go through his characters and just get really deep over on Neil's past and who he is and why he is the way he is and is the reason why he's always so whimsical and like making jokes is that a defense mechanism is it because it's his way to is that because that's his way to cope with the fact that he's dying which is sad oh gosh, which is sad up. is the reason why he's is the reason why he's so happy all the time and hyper and like making all these jokes is because that's just a coping mechanism knowing that he's he doesn't have much time left and so you're killing me i'm sorry well no this is what i i, I agree i think this is what the third episode is going to be about is neil and that might close out the trilogy and i'm like ah oh, that'll break my heart but anyway 
we're still in episode two, so that's that's jumping ahead. But episode one. Anyway, <laughs> just a thought. Yeah. So we can stop talking about <laughs> Neil and his painkillers. Go ahead and break my heart. <laughs> just like wait, that. my heart's <laughs> broken in this in this game, episode one. For goodness sakes. So um, okay, so they dive back in once they realize. All right, we gotta put the smell, like bring the bring mm -hmm. the, and that'll jumpstart his memory. Which succeeds, and then there's a whole thing about yeah. oh, there's two of them because the memory replacing it's thing, yeah. it's all overlapping, and I I was proud of myself that I figured out what was happening before it happened, and I figured out Joey's real identity before they mentioned it. I didn't pick up on the bunk bed though. I should have picked up on the bunk bed. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, that was that was like. Oh my gosh! It makes <laughs> sense now. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean that scene was just hard to. Again, that scene is just hard for me to watch, just because I, again, I can't imagine a parent being a parent and being responsible for the death of your child. Yeah. I cannot oh imagine. Gosh. I can't imagine ever wanting to wake up the next morning ever again. I I can't imagine that. So then, then you continue diving deeper and you learn more about Joey and Johnny's relationship and how close they are and how Joey yeah. might have been the favorite but he wasn't a bad brother no he, he shared was all this a stuff. great brother he was yeah, a great he brother was, he was an amazing brother who wanted to who had dr aspirations and dreams and wanted to become a novelist yeah. and that was really cool and you know mm -hmm. it was it was awesome and I, I mean I liked Joey a lot instantly and you know, then you go to the carnival and you see them, the, the brothers again. He gets this train. Um, you play whack-a-mole. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then, of course, there's the big scene at the lookout spot where River and Johnny actually meet for the first time. Yeah. And, I mean, there's just a lot of stuff going on in that mm -hmm. scene. And it's, yeah, one of the things is that, remember, like, each time a new act appear, like, there was there was a little sentence underneath. Yes, like, that's what River. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's Those are all what River, River said. Yes. Yeah. When they and first it really, met. It, it really it really bothers me that in the Spanish translation of the game, the sentences that that they translated the sentences of the acts differently from what River said uh, at, the, at that game. Uh, so a Spanish let's players a Spanish let's players don't catch the fact that you say uh, exactly the same that the Gotcha. Yeah, and it's, it, it bothers me a lot. And they also translated, like the first time the Haki Sack gets mentioned, back back when the incident happened, they translated Haki Sack one way, and it, in that scene, when the oh, Haki Sack gets mentioned way. again, mm, oh. yeah, so, so Spanish, Spanish list players, yeah, they, they get confused, they don't That's connect the ideas, yeah. That's a shame, okay. Um, well, we're, 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 we're verifying it now, so we're clarifying it now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Um, I was happy that I kind of figured out the rabbit on the moon way ahead. Like, I, I, there, cause, because of that myth, I think it's a Japanese myth again about the rabbit on the moon. Like, this was, this was like several episodes before I mentioned yeah. it. So it was pretty cool that the, that, that the rabbit it really is the rabbit on the moon. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, you know. Then you start. You get, yeah, you get you get this really cute conversation, and right. the fact that the fact that River never never tells John her name. Her she name. Never tells yes. Him. Yeah. Never tells her. I remember that from the like. I realized that the other day. I was like, she never told him her name. That's interesting. Cause she refused to. <laughs> yeah, because she didn't like it. She 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 wanted a normal name, and and she right. said that kids kids you could you could assume that kids bullied her because of her yeah. name. Yeah. 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 And um, it's really neat the fact that their names are John and River, and there's a there's a Doctor Who reference in the game. You know. Oh, oh, is that the reason? Okay, I mean clearly. Because, yeah, because, because I mean th there's a reference of Doctor Who in the game, and the fact that yeah, and they're the John and River, mentioned. and yeah, yeah. and um. And the doctor every time every time someone someone asks the doctor what his name is, He's, he says John Smith. John Smith, yeah. 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 
But I did not catch that. Interesting. That's cool. <laughs> All right. I, yeah. I like that. Yeah, because I know the TARDIS is mentioned. The yeah. TARDIS is mentioned at some point, and I was, like, fangasming over that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the only thing about... The only critique I have the game, and I'm, it's great for now, but they do make some dated jokes. So anyone who's playing the game like 10 years from now may not necessarily get all the references well doc yeah, doctor i don't who, get i don't but... get and the only the only reference i get is the doctor who one all the other reference i'm totally oh, the other ones you missed. yeah 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 the moment, the moment they mentioned alistair could they be referenced exactly to that alistair or did the guy just no they said that the guy always smelled and i did like when you said the guy always smelled there is that one scene where win is complaining to alistair of how his socks smell and because <laughs> alistair apparently rotates his socks because i guess when you're in the dragon age world laundry is not that much of a luxury when you're <laughs> out in the wilderness you know saving the world and fighting arch demons so alistair has to like rotate his socks like turning them inside <laughs> out and <laughs> win is like disgusted by how he smells so that was the only thing that i could think of why that might have something to do with Alistair, but I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? So yeah, and uh, then then there's this scene, and you get you get a bit of insight from Neil in that scene when he mentions his grand his granddad, his grandfather. Yes, his granddad when he took him to took stargazing. him out stargazing with the telescope. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And 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 the wedding in the wedding um in the wedding scene when you arrive to the wedding. Uh, Eva says, Eva tells Neil that he always, that Neil always talks about his grandfather. She says oh. that, she mentioned it. Well, like, that's going to be one of the memories that Eva's going to be going through when she's, you know, <laughs> diving into his head, so. You still with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then, and then the scene that broke, that broke, that this scene broke a lot of Let's Players when, when Johnny gives River the platypus. Mm hmm. Yes. And then. I saw that and coming. And then when he's. Yeah. And when 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 he's leaving and River asks him, asks him, what will you do? What will we do if we yes. don't. If we forget or get lost? And he says, we'll just regroup in the moon. And yes. that, that single dialogue. A lot of Let's Players I watch, they break down in that single dialogue. When he says, we'll regroup in the yes. moon, that's when they just start crying. That's. Yeah, that's when the light bulb like flipped open for me and i was like that's why he wants to go to the moon like he doesn't yeah. understand why he wants to go to the moon but he knows that that's where him and river will regroup if they ever get lost mm -hmm. and so since he lost yeah. her the only way so that was yes that hit me too um mm -hmm. because i it, i got it i figured it out it's like that's mm -hmm. amazing so then that is when eva through that scene eva gets the epiphany and says okay now i know what we have to do to get yeah. this guy up to the moon and then that's when neil and her go into this debate and you know memories getting messed up the zombies yeah, that, are coming out the booby traps yeah, yeah the but whole that, shebang. That scene, uh -huh. and that scene where all the 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 memories are like collapsing together mm -hmm. yeah and and i'm glad that you enter every room because some people yeah. just walk straight through them no i was they trying to go yeah yeah I tried and to explore my favorite, my favorite one is the last one when you see, when you enter and you see Joey's body mm -hmm. that in the middle of the room and he's talking, saying he's Johnny. Wait, would that be a reference? Maybe that's a reference that, I don't know, maybe because for, because the way, because of the, what the mom did, maybe she, they kind of switched place and at the end it was kind of like, Johnny was oh, the one who died. Johnny was the one who died. Oh, yeah. that's painful. Oh. Yeah, and that's why that's why that's why Joey's body is saying he's John. Hey, I'm John. Mm. You know? Yeah, because I can see that. Yeah, Johnny that's was painful. the one who died at that mm -hmm. day, that day, not Joey. That's painful. Yeah. But then what gets even more painful is when um, the vocal song starts. Oh um, yeah. That is when I started to <laughs> yes. I couldn't say anything. I just let. I was just absorbing, seeing all the visions, all the memories wash away and get replaced. Everything's yes. all right. I think is the name of the song. Everything's all right. Sung yeah, by um, a Japanese singer. I've actually Lara been to Shiyahara. her. Yes, thank you. And I've been to her YouTube channel and I've seen her oh, sing really? the song. Yeah, she's cute. She's and she's very <laughs> talented. Yeah. Um, 
But uh, yeah, the song, as I was listening to the lyrics and I was watching what was happening as things were getting erased and replaced, I was like, oh, this is so hard because there's, this is an entire life that you're totally doing the reset button on and you're sacrif <laughs> sacrificing his love for something that in the grand scheme of things you wouldn't think is is necessarily better. It's not necessarily a better life that he ends up having. Yeah. So and Neil is like, okay, Neil was like, okay, fine, like you win, I'm defeated, sure, let's just get this yeah. over with. And he made that, it to NASA. That, yeah. And in that sequence you have to pay attention, really close attention when everything's changing because there are little things too. Like one of the first ones is the fact that jo Joey Johnny Johnny beats Nicholas in the push up way. Yes. yes he does. And the other yeah, and the other big detail that I remember right now is that in the library scene, that library scene, Joey Joey is uh, signing the books he wrote. Yes, he is. Yes. Yeah. I recognize that. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. he was and there he an accomplished of, journalist there, yeah. or, or novelist. Yeah, and there are a lot of little details that you have to pay attention in that scene, and it's really, really great. When Eva, what did you think about what Eva said to to Neil when she said Johnny can always find another river, but he will only have one brother? What were your thoughts to that comment or that statement? He will, can always you can always find another another love, but you'll only have one brother. Yeah. That's the that was the statement that I was torn with. Because mm. it's, it's your love, your wife, but it's also your family, your brother, your twin. Not just any brother, your twin yeah. brother. So it's like, how are you making me... It's like choosing between your children. Like, yeah. It's like, how it's... I can't choose. I mean, I guess if it was Johnny's mom, she can choose. But most people yeah. <laughs> can't choose. Most people hopefully are not like Johnny's mom and can easily choose between their two children. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, Um. I thought... I don't know. I always have. I always. Every time I see that scene, I have this feeling that she's right. Like, mm. like it's the first thing that hits me every time I read that dialogue again. It's like she's right. She only have one brother, you know. But a new river can come any day. But it's it's hard to think about it because it's hard to think I know. About it that way. Yeah. Yeah, because I know the ending and I know he'll find river again. So it's yeah. kind of hard to think, you know. Yeah, to no. It's, think about it. It's it's one of those statements. Is like I know I understand what she's saying, and I know what she's saying. I guess I do. It's hard for me to agree or disagree. It's one of those statements. Is like, do I agree with this or just disagree with it? Because it feels, it doesn't feel right either way. Agreeing or disagreeing with the, that statement. Because um, I like to believe that River and him are meant for each other, but I also like to believe that okay, but I mean he's got he's only gonna have one brother. It's not like. You can, I don't know. It's it just puts me in an uncomfortable situation when I have to think which yeah. one, whether I agree or disagree with that statement, and how I feel about that statement. So, um, okay, so he makes it to NASA, and mm -hmm. then uh, you know we explore around the building, and then that's when you realize what Eva was planning this whole time, or was hoping was going to happen this whole time, is that yeah. Johnny and actually, actually. Go ahead. Actually, before before we get into that, there's okay. a really there's a there's a joke that I think you didn't get. Okay. It's like when you get to that to that room where you get where there's this window and you can see the shuttle. Yes. And they mentioned that the best parts of the shuttle are the 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 upper part and the lower right. one. Yes. And they say they are the best parts, and that after the 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 repairments are, are done, those parts are not going to look the same. And it's funny because the player can only see the middle part of the shuttle. Okay. No, in the window you can only see it. It's impossible for the player to see the the upper okay. part and the lower part. So it's okay. kind of like it's kind of like even Neil are making fun of the player because he can't see you those can't specific see the... parts. Oh, okay. I, I, I didn't catch that. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Gotcha. Okay. I didn't think about that. Cool. <laughs> it's hmm. like a joke the creator did. Yes. Just gotcha. Because. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, so then, so then, uh, the big reveal. Lo and behold, Eva. What oh, Eva was hoping the whole time is that River would show up, and she did. She shows up, 
and returns back into Johnny's life and then they're together and then they continue their life from that point on now that Johnny's already in NASA he's going to go to yeah. the moon so now it's mm -hmm. fine for River to come along because he's already on his route to go to the moon it's fine for River to show up now and they go through the training together and he's renamed the song to the moon instead of for River yeah. forever to the moon and um Somebody mentioned one of my one of my viewers mentioned in the comments that that you know was that on purpose that they named the songs that way because you can read it for river to the moon like I'm going to the moon for river like just putting the titles together I, I don't know I don't know if that's I just a coincidence that. I don't know if that's a coincidence but it's something that somebody pointed out and yeah. then yeah. and then the shuttle is about to take off and Eva and um doc and Doctor Watts bring on the doctor and lily into the scene mm -hmm. and then when the shuttle's about to was is about to take off doc uh, watts tries to make a pass on eva tries to like hold yeah. her hand and eva like slaps it away it's like what are you doing it's like no yeah <laughs> i think i actually i've always thought that they make a really cute couple i definitely think they make a couple i think it's implied yeah. that they would make a cute couple yeah so um but I think that Eve is trying to play hard to get, which is totally <laughs> what she would do. Totally is what she would do. Yeah. And, um, yeah. So yeah, and then they they um, fly to the moon. What's really interesting, though, is is that he dies before they actually reach and land on the moon, which is fine because the title is to the moon he wanted to go mm -hmm. to the moon he didn't want to necessarily land on the moon he did not necessarily <laughs> want to get to the moon he wanted to just go to the moon which is what he <laughs> got because right before they actually lands that's when he dies and i think that's fine because ultimately what he really wanted was to be with river and he was able to still have river in his life during his last moments and still be on his way to the moon which is what he yeah also and wanted. and in that scene you get like little glimpses of what happens after they land like you get to see that they build the house they still get married at the lighthouse they yes. build the house and river and river's still alive but but that by that moment because now they're astronauts so of course they have enough money to build the house of and to pay for river's treatment yes yeah that's true uh, that's very yeah, true and she's, both of them are alive, the house is full, and they, they live happily ever after. And and that's how that is how Johnny will remember his life uh -huh. the moment he dies. And so that brings us to the morality of the whole thing. Um, because this gets touched on in the in the holiday special. Um, what are your thoughts on, on on what they're doing and whether or not and the morality of it and do you think that um, I, I don't know? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna add more to that comment, Alexander. Like, what are your thoughts on that? On what they do? Yeah, what they do. What do you What are your thoughts on the morality of what they're doing? Essentially, changing people's memories and mm -hmm. knowing that the risk the risk involved that if they if they don't end up dying, they not be are not able to function very well. After. Yeah. No, but that's the point. The point. The point of the thing is that they have to die. That's why they do it like right before they do. It, they die. Uh, I mean, the company is trying to make these people happy, you know. But it's so. It it gets it gets mentioned in the holiday special that those few last seconds, that smile, because they die with a smile on their face, and those few last seconds before they pass away, is what makes everything worth it. And. But wiping someone's memories and causing so much conflict on their brain that they would not be able to function correctly if they remain alive, it's just... I don't really know what to think about it. It's, it's it, hard. It reminds me of... Um, I'm, I'm hoping that this isn't a huge a spoiler for people, but in Dragon Age Origins, you've seen Let's Plays of it. I don't know if you played the game yourself. Not the whole... Not I haven't watched okay. the whole thing. Okay. In the... In the in Dragon Age Origins, and many of you who played the game probably know about this scene. There's this you come upon a Templar who is possessed. He's possessed by the Desire Demon. The Desire Demon has taken over his 
his mind. And the desire demon is giving him illusions, a fantasy. He's got a beautiful wife. He's got beautiful children. And he's, in, in reality, he's just, you know, standing in a room for all, for the rest of his life, just standing in the room like a, like a potato. But in his head, he's living out this fantasy where he has this wife and his child and like the perfect job or whatever. And he's enjoying it. He's, he's happy, but it, none of it is real. He's just in an illusion and he's possessed by this demon. So you have to make a choice of whether or not to let the demon continue what it's doing. And um, if you let the people continue what it's doing, then he'll continue, you know, possessing the Templar and feeding off whatever it is he's trying to feed off, feeding off his desire. And he continues to live the rest of his life, his non-reality, um, until he officially dies. But he's living his perfect life happy in his head the whole time. That's decision number one. The other choice is to slay the demon. However, the problem is because the demon is so tied to the Templar, if you kill the demon, you also kill the Templar. So you will kill them both. But the Templar is free. He's no longer possessed. He's no longer in this illusion, but he'll die. So that's the tough choice. What is, oh. what's right? Is it, is, is it, if he's happy, is that, is that the justification? As long as he's happy, that's fine. It's not real. It's an illusion. It's all in his head. There's a demon that's possessing him, but the man's happy. So isn't that good enough? Or no, you shouldn't be living a lie. You shouldn't be living an illusion. If you're a slave to this demon and you don't even realize it, then you need to be free. If that means I have to kill the demon and might have to kill you in the process, you're dead anyway because you're not free anyway. So you might as well release your soul. So at least your soul can be free. Um, so it reminds me of that. And it's that always was probably the hardest decision I ever had to make. And that's definitely one of the hardest choices I've ever had to make in any game, I think, is that situation. Aww. Because that's, that's where the morality plays. What is right and what is wrong? What is morally, is happiness enough? Is that the ends that justifies the means or what? So that's what, that's what this reminds me of. And I don't, you don't have to answer, you don't have to answer that question about what are your thoughts on that, but it's just something that makes you think <laughs> yeah, what is really important, what is really important, what is right and what is wrong. Loosely, yeah. I use that term right and wrong. So um, if any of you viewers out there want to try to give your thoughts on that situation, put it down in the comments because I'm curious or, or just the, or just your thoughts on the morality. Any of you have thoughts on the morality of, what Sigmund Core is doing anyway, that'd be great. Um, but we'll talk a little bit briefly about the, 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 um, the Christmas special or the holiday special because it, it didn't feel like a holiday special in the sense that it just so happened that it was the holidays while this story is happening. But it wasn't like one of those typical holiday specials where, you know, you leave the episode, everything is fuzzy and warm and happy. You know, when you're, that's what I'm thinking when I think a holiday special of a show. Mm -hmm. or, or, for example, like, there's conflict that the people have to overcome. But at the end of the day, they're, like, singing Christmas carols or doing <laughs> something happy. But in this holiday special, it ends with, like, death music and protesters and doesn't really yeah. leave you with a fuzzy warm feeling and i thought that was kind of interesting <laughs> for them to do yeah, it that way um but it, it, it shows it shows it actually shows what the people of that world think about sigmund core yeah yeah because i mean because into the moon it was like yeah i'm happy we're making this man happy giving the life he wants but in the, in the holy day especially it gets mentioned that people outside of sigmund, sigmund corp are not okay with it yeah yeah and i think i i don't think that i i believe that people have the right to protest if you disagree with what sigmund core is doing i believe you still have the right to protest um but then the question is i think people are making arguments is if if it's the person's choice like they were signed a contract 
and they'll take the consequences, accepting the consequences, including if they end up staying alive and they end up not being able to function, that's part of the terms of the contract that they'll sign. Mm -hmm. So I guess for me, I don't think I necessarily would go through the process, but I wouldn't want to deny somebody else's right if it's their decision, if they're, you know, of sound mind and body. If they are of sound mind and body and decide for themselves on their own, this is what I want to do, I wouldn't want to deny them the right to have the procedure done. I think that's, mm -hmm. my, that's my stance on it, even though I, it's not for me. I'm not going to dictate yeah. that other people can't do it just because it's not for <laughs> me. So um, my favorite part of that whole game, that whole episode, was the hair. Doyle? What's his name? I think it was a doctor's name. Where he kept talking about his hair Doyle. all the time. Yes. Doyle. Kept talking about the other person's hair. I wish I had hair like blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. That was cute. I love that. It was great. Um, and it's, it's really funny because in the credits, there's a, there's a, a little a little section of the credits that says Doyle's drunk dialogue. And there's a lot of names of different people that <laughs> wrote his Oh, dialogue. that gave... Oh, that's so awesome. I guess on Kickstarter. Because this one started on Kickstarter, right? Was this a Kickstarter game? No, no. I mean, no, no. I mean, that a lot of writers, like a lot of people oh, were involved. It. Nice. Yeah, a lot of people were involved on, on Doyle's on that. Those drunk dialogue. That was so well done. <laughs> Okay, it's pretty cool that there was so many contributions to that. Um, but but and then of course there's the the video game, the To the Moon video game that yeah. Neil made, which I thought was pretty was was entertaining. Yeah, and the game, uh, the game goes through a lot a lot of Johnny's life. Yeah. It like you have to pay attention. Like you at the end at the end of the game you get to go to the moon. Like little you get uh, to go to okay. the moon. If you pay attention, you get to go the, the little. The background of the game is the moon, and there's oh, a rabbit like, right that's in the middle. That's yeah, cool. and that's I think yeah, and that's when that's when Clever. you finish the game. I think. Clever. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like that. And then there's the part where you know all of the zombies get together and save the <laughs> day and with pom poms and fireworks and stuff, which you know she can play that two weeks from now, two or three weeks from now, <laughs> and see that, <laughs> yeah. which I thought was really cute. So um. No, it was, it was, I liked the episode, I kind of wished, my biggest disappointment in the episode is that I, I, I expected and wished that they had touched more on Neil's condition, but it wasn't yeah. mentioned at all. The, the painkillers weren't mentioned at all or touched. No. Um, but that's okay, they'll probably be saving that for later, but. Yeah. There, were, there was one thing I wanted to mention. Mm -hmm. The song, everything's all right, if you pay attention to the lyrics, half of the song is from Johnny's point of view. And the other half is from, is from River's point of view. Mm. Yes, I like, can see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yes. one of, I don't remember the whole lyrics, but there's there's one part that says that there's one part that says, "Why do my words always lose its meaning? Mm -hmm. What I think and what I say, there's such a breach between them." Yes. And mm -hmm. that's that's how River mind my yes. words. You know, mm -hmm. he wants to say, she wants to say something, but. You know, yes. her her mind and her words don't connect correctly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I I agree with you. Listening to the lyrics, <laughs> I definitely saw both of them, both of them yeah. there. That's definitely a beautiful song. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, the To the Moon theme song, which now I need to get my dad to learn how to play so he can play it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. All right. Well. Thank you guys for watching um, this bonus episode. I hope that you guys learned maybe a bunch of new things about this game that you've never realized before, even if you've seen it several times, or even the first time or the second time. Um, Alexander, thank you so much for joining me today. It was, it was very cool to have you again chat with me and just pick my brain and just bring up all of these all of these uh, experiences <laughs> with this beautiful, beautiful, beautifully done game. Yeah. Um, so yeah, guys, um, definitely continue putting down in the comments uh, your thoughts about the game in general, if there's something that we missed, um, your thoughts on the morality of what Sigmund Core is doing. I'm sure this is not the last that we've seen of Eva and and um, Watts, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Watts, uh, Neil yeah. Watts. We'll probably see them again, and I'm sure I will let's play the next episode two of their adventure. Yeah, you gotta so, you gotta play a bird story. 
I will play the bird story. I will play the bird story probably just before, just before it's released. Yeah. So it's all fresh in my mind. Um, okay. But yeah, so guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time. Amen, sustes mismos y a los demás. <laughs>